In this video, I'll show you how to change your WordPress admin email without the need to confirm that change on a new email that you'll set up. Let's get straight into it. So typically, if we wanted to change this here, so let's say, for example, let's add some random numbers here. They wanted to change it to this new email address. When we hit save, OK, here it's advising us to confirm the changes on this particular email before it actually does it here. OK. OK, so the first approach is we're going to actually change the admin email from our database. So to do this, we just need to log into our WordPress hosting, navigate to our database. Usually it's PHP my admin. So let's do this now. Let's head over to PHP my admin. OK, so I'm not too sure what the database name is. So to find this out, I'm just going to head over to file manager. I'm going to locate my website and then we'll edit this WP config file. And here I can see the database name is the sleep rev underscore WP five, six, seven. OK, that's fine. Now let's head back over to PHP Maya admin. We just need to look for WP five, six, seven, which is this one. Now let's scroll down and we're looking for options um, if we can find it. Yeah, so it's this one options here and in here it will show our site URL, home URL, and it will also show the admin email, which is this one here. So we can just hit edit and then we can go ahead and change this out here. So, for example, we could say admin at aovo.com. OK, OK, and then we can just hit go. OK, and that saved fine. So let's head over to our website and let's see if the changes is reflected there. So let's head over to settings and in general settings. OK, and here we can see the changes has been made. Now, the second method is once we're logged in, we can type WP dash admin and then options dot PHP. So let's check this out. OK, and it will take us to this screen here. Now we can just do a control search for email, more specifically admin email, which is this one. And we can go ahead and change it directly here. So, for example, I can say test and let's scroll down and we'll just hit save changes. OK, so now let's head over to general again and let's see if the changes has been reflected. OK, so this here you can see says tests. So we've had a look at two different methods now. Now let's have a look at a third option, which is using a plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new and then we'll search for change email. And it's this one here, change admin email. Let's hit activate. OK, and now when we go to general, now let's go ahead and change this email to TTT and we'll hit save changes. And here you can see we can change the email without the need to confirm it on this new email address. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.